Hi, Hiram here. It's been pointed out to me that even though I've used this Mojo pot stand in a couple of labs so far, I haven't done a proper boil test on it, so I thought I'd take care of that today. A little bit of information about this. The Mojo is the, I don't know, second or next generation from the ultralight stove put out by the same guy. He corrected a couple of things, or changed a couple of things, I should say, on this to produce that. One of the big things was he made it out of three pieces that are exactly the same before each piece was different on this, and that's a real mess as far as manufacturing. This is in comparison, too, to the West Wind kind of thing. I'll have some uh, specs and stuff down below comparing the three. So he's come out with this. Excuse me, i got a sore throat again. Where it's three pieces the same, made out of about, I don't know, it feels six, like 16 gauge aluminum, brushed. It weighs about 61.1 grams or 2.15 ounces. Wait a minute, did I do that right? Yeah. The height is three and a quarter inches. The length of the piece is five and five eighths. They just clip together like a little puzzle. Just like so. <clears throat> just like that. The trangia, the mini trangia goes in like this. And it's supported at a whole different height versus the West Wind. The West Wind, we found out, I think it was the Bebopper led me to this, that this stove actually works better upside down than it does right side up because there's not enough space from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot on this. This, the Mojo stove and the Ultralight, has much more room between the two. Between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot on this is one and three eighths versus on the west wind I think it's less than three quarters of an inch. I'll put links to a couple of uh, old videos that I did that'll give you times on these different things. Okay what I've got here is the mini trangia two-thirds full. Let me just light this and let it get going. Another nice thing with this pot stove, pot stand rather, is you can use the simmer ring in here without any problems. It's wider here so that the simmer ring just goes right in and you can adjust it. There's no you know lack of space here. You can even put it in and out while the burner, while the pot is on. A couple of things. This has six points of contact versus the three points of contact on the west wind for where your pot sits. The you know different ones like the GSI cup that'll fit on there. It's a little tight because of the big rounded bottom on this. The GSI cup will fit on there. The Stanley stove, or the Stanley camp set, will fit on there. The one that I have that I found that won't fit on here is my small Vargo titanium cup. That goes right through. So the diameter on this, let's see if I remember right. I think I had a note here. This is three and three sixteenths in diameter. So anything that size and smaller won't fit on this. It falls right through. Okay, so that's going. I have two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. Let's put it on there and let's see where this goes.
There we have 210. 211. 212 and 538. Okay, not bad. Let me just put this out. All right. There we had two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 5 minutes and 38 seconds. Looking back on some of the other ones on the ultralight. The previous generation, it took 6 min minutes and 21 seconds. Well, this will be all, I'll have the uh, links to these old videos where I did on did the boil tests on these. On the West Wind, using it right side up, took 9 minutes and 14 seconds. Then the Bebopper told me that it's better to use it upside down. So I did a test with that. Two cups of water in 4 minutes and 55 seconds. So, I don't know. If you have to use it upside down, why spend the money? Just buy your, make yourself a hardware cloth pot stand or something. Uh, I shouldn't send my scratch that. So, not too bad. Like I said, I'll put links and in the information down below. One thing with this, with the weight, all of the metal punched out of this. I think if you're a Graham weenie that likes to use the Trangia, this seems to be a pretty decent pot stand. Uh, one thing though, one, not a problem, but one thing that does happen, that's too hot so I can't do it with that. This looks like about 16 gauge aluminum that's been brushed. You gotta kinda handle it with kid gloves. You can bend it fairly easy. One, because it comes out on points here. And I don't know, maybe the rest, yeah, the whole thing is very bendable. So you do have to be careful with that. Don't do what I just did intentionally. That puts a stress on it. The West Wind, I don't know, seems like the same gauge, but it's less, it's resistant to bending. It doesn't bend as easy, if at all. So that's one plus for the West Wind. I hope this helps the people. I'm sorry that I didn't do this test right off. I just kind of got excited about using it in some of my other labs, which this is probably the pot stand I'll use for most of them now. I have another one coming up. i got to let this stuff all cool off. Uh, show you something pretty neat. But I thank those that pointed out that I didn't do a test on this one. I look forward to your input like that, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. I thank you for watching, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.